with all this harassment on MP. Actually, he's going to be gone on. This could be our first blood. Shalgrave goes out. Now they're going to turn around. Net's going to be in some trouble. And the fire isn't enough to get Net. He will be taken out by the Ice Shards. MP help to chase him down, but both of those off laners will be able to escape. As they'll know then that he's not mid, and Kyo's going to contest for this rune, but there's a lot of different heroes there. Well, Mushi's actually going to jump forward now onto Fevy, Ohio. Actually gets stalled up a little bit, still has the telekinesis to throw back QO, giving Mushi the time to go on to Fevy. Still has his scream up, will be able to get the kill, but really survive. Looks like QO will get the turnaround kill. So well worth it still for MVP Phoenix. Meanwhile, the bottom lane going on MP with that ace room. What a body block from Heen, buying MP so much time. And here's we'll have to back out once again. I'm actually surprised that Bushi went for that because it was a level 2 Earthshaker and he just came up so well. Oh, Shellgrave can't get it off in time, maybe. If he had gotten off the Child Grave, they could have turned it around. Then he's going to have Ancient Stacks to be able to get even farther ahead than he already is. I think it's just their core belief that they should have three farm heroes. And in mid lane, yeah, Bushi's double stun, go Bushi, the damage just way too much out from that Pulse Nova of free harassment time. They're almost playing as if the Bounty Hunter just doesn't exist in the game, which I think there's some merit to, where they just don't overly uh, worry about it too much. And yeah, Mushi, oh, middle lane, Mushi's oh, dead again. Oh, that's brutal. Mushi may be paying the difference between that one and this one. And he's able to hide himself in the trees while he does the And he, oh, they do have the heal, but it's still not enough. DJ has enough burst damage thanks to that Walrus Punch to eat through that Flame Guard and gets yet another kill. Oh, and this mid lane playing quite a dangerous game. If he got stunned by Febby right there, yeah, he doesn't hesitate. That's another kill. Or if uh, QO. Oh, they're going to get the kill. They're going to be able to burst him down. One more right click. Ohio takes so much damage. But bottom lane, my lord, this toss is going him. If he had gone for that extra level of splitter, he might have landed on Mushi. And then he kills Mushi instead of dying to him. He was gonna pick up a oh, haste rune. No, okay. Chrissy made the wrong move, especially with that haste rune. They do need to feel the Fisher turn around. Sure, it's still not enough. And now Ned may be some trouble too. Q on run for the Ohio. He just right clicks him down. No, Bevy in some trouble. Never mind. MP comes to the rescue, managed to have the dust. And he does have a remnant out. Just needs to be able to get over to Ned, but Ned's gonna be able to deny himself to Roshan. That's why MP moves for Ohio instead. Burning him down with that flame guard. Gets the kill eventually. And now jumps back to his remnant. Mushi does doesn't have a blink oh, up in 10 help. seconds, but if he can get the Shadow Strike, he'll be able to get this kill. Still, MP jumps over to the left-hand side. I Mushi. think Mushi still goes for it. He's got two seconds left on the blink. Does he know where MP actually is, though? All right, Mushi's not going to go for it anymore. Yeah. Let's go for the tower really soon. But this is pretty common. You get two levels of the stun, you go for the Edict. Like, this is the more uh, common build than I've seen. Like, some left tracks do prioritize the stun, but it's just as common to see the Edict. The crazy thing though is that Kyo decided to stay mid when he knew three were there. And now he's gonna lose that tower as well as his life. Awesome the jungle much more proficient. Oh, hold up. Febby gonna be in some trouble here. They do have the Echo Slam, but Febby knows he's not gonna have enough damage by himself, and Ohio actually manages to steal the Fisher because of that. And it just I think it just helps you farm faster. Really. Okay. It's a little bit scarier in team fights. Like you'll never try to pop it in a team fight. Because you, you already don't have a lot of HP in mid lane. Yeah, Mushi's dead. There's so many setups for him. Yeah, the invis rune. The smoke is instantly going to get cleared. They're both going to play sentries within uh, vision of each other. Everybody from Fnatic's down here. They're going to jump on a Mevy here. Echo Slam immediately plays down. They get a really good Sonic Wave, though, and DJ is still surviving. Two-man Fisher setting things up, and the Shell Grave is there as well. Net Blood up going DJ. down as well as the Tusk. Double kill for QL, and it looks like even Ohio's going to be found as MP comes around the back and snags him. Fnatic, ill-timed aggression there at that bottom lane as MVP Phoenix were wet. I think you still go for it. Uh, maybe he just goes for the straight diffusal here. And... Oh no, Chrissy! Still gonna get the snowball ice shards though. And they'll be able to get the kill, but this does mean he's pretty far forward. Lightning hits him once, and blink away up in one second. Oh no! He managed to get uh, the fist chains out. 
Ember Spirit just in time manages to pick up the turnaround kill. So him fan make this decision soon. There's a little how much damage blocked to that top tower. Oh, the tier two tower is still pretty healthy, so. Oh, MP. Oh, he's gotta be careful dead. here. He's gonna be left to Chrissy now. He has no way to be able to jump to a remnant and is easily taken out. More TPs come in. Your shaker is coming across. Chrissy does have his blink up in a second. Can Fetty stop it? They know he's over there. The weave hit him. He blinks up. Fetty does hit the Fisher onto Chrissy, but he's got both black. I think I was just thinking like, oh, March is going to complete a Crimson Guard. That's going to be so good for his team versus the PL. But at the same time, when the PL is able to pick up his, uh, oh, Jinx actually kind of misses there. They do have black coming in from the side, though. QO. Well, he's he's got the ages. Maybe there's some TPs. MP. And he actually saved Leshrac. QO starts popping that Pulse Nova. Goes for the supports on the side. Remnant over MP. Going to chase down Ohio. Looks like he should be able to get this kill with the chains. March, meanwhile, chasing away the rest of the heroes. So it's just the support that ends up going down in exchange for the Aegis that they get on away from You can quite ignore. Right. It's not like an anti mage where once the AM gets a battle fear, you can still kind of deal with it. MP, he managed to get the lock on to Mushi with a the picture there as well. Do they have enough damage? No, the angle slam! It comes in right after the snowball save on Mushi. And he will now get out. Sonic Wave hits that. Oh, he actually goes down. Ember Spear managed to get him there with the slide of Fizz. Now March is battling it out. QO chasing away those supports at the same time. March has lost all his mana. And QO, well, with the help of the Fisher, they'll clear through that one, though. Betty does go down in the process. Looks like they're going to try and chase down Net. But with this track movement speed, they're just staying ahead. They're kiting around MVP. Phoenix as much as they can. And uh, the Phantom Lancer and the Queen of Pain. It's just Mushi's hero at this point. It doesn't really Heavy Fisher actually completely with Shellgrave and some heals. The rest of his team is coming in. We we'll also have uh, Chrissy who's going to come in from the side and try and finish off that Earthshaker. And he moves forward, unable to grab anybody there. It looks like Ohio. TPM? No. Heal Scepter is out for QL. So they will get this re kill. 10 Bloodstone charges now for QL. He still always has to think though. Oh, he's gonna go for the Earthshaker! He tries to pop up, still not enough damage, and now the chain oh, stun a plus too. the Shell of Grave, Chrissy. He got mega greedy. Oh, Mushi's Mushi. here now. Oh, he gets that one. Finally, they do finish off that Earthshaker, and he manages to get out. They create enough space, though. Looks like Watt may take this tier. They're at Q is actually peeing. He's like, they're gonna come for me. They know that I've just dewarded this board. You should get here. Uh, Q is actually gonna spawn that. Lift him up in the air. Everybody from Fnatic. Oh, he the stun. He's still gonna be able to burst him down quite easily. MP gets blocked out by the ice shards, but it's quick retreat for yeah, Fnatic. Go with the Phantom Lancer. And PL actually just canceled. Wait, somebody canceled their team. I think it was DJ actually. Black still got his boots of travel. That's a free tower. Black's finally got a yeah, They get fight. a good fight here. Mushi's gonna come in from the side. Sonic Wave is ready to go. March is gonna be the first target. Pretty good Sonic Wave. Oh, he hit March in the side. But he's like, fine. Fetty. Oh, Echo Slam completely with that one. He tried to go on to DJ, but that's not good enough. March is gonna chase down Ohio. Meanwhile, Black is cleaning through the dazzle and gonna look for QO as well. He's completely out of mana. Black actually got escape. Pops the extra bit of movement speed. He needs to be able to get away, but it's not gonna be enough. MP tracks him down. Now Ohio, in a vain attempt to be able to save his ally, is going to be cleaned up as well. Though they're really deep underneath those tier 4 towers. Now they're being dropped as Black bought back in order to make sure they win that fight. MP jumps himself away. Fnatic need to be able to grab a little bit more. They've got a Blink and Yule Scepter up on Mushi in a second. It looks like they'll track down MP. He's so dead. Yeah, he's not getting away from this one. Black picks up the double kill, but it's only after the buyback. Probably more importantly than that, Kyo managed to get out with the gem Dyer's in the game. I'm not 100% certain if they know that this is happening. Yeah, they're all moving in, but yeah, they might actually too late. quickly. They are going to go for a kill now in Ohio, but they don't realize that Fnatic now going to start swarming inside the Roshan pit, and they have that Aegis advantage, but they're already down on the Rubik. Black's going to start going for QO, realizes this is not the fight he wants to take, can't afford to go down and potentially a second time he needs the after. Doppelgangers away, and March unable to slow down Black. They will all get out, it seems. That five-man fight from MVP is so strange now. Like, even with the Aegis, they're not willing to take that. Does so he have a remnant out here? MP, Slide of Fist, jumps away. Oh, the Orchid. Placed on a creep. And now QO is going to come forward, challenging. He's got the kills after Snowball comes in. Still managed to land the stun on Debushi. Maybe he can get this kill. Walrus Punch, Lightning onto Chrissy. He's going to change targets now. But they do have the gem, actually. Black Everybody is dying here. QO, he's going to be quickly suicide. surrounded and manages to pull out the Bloodstone Suicide, but that's still the gem dropped. 
And on the side, though, MP, he needs to be able to jump in. Then he's got the Echo Slam. He locked up both. Can he get Mushi as well? They need MP. He revved it over to the side. Mushi blinks out, but MP's now into trouble. Black Bomb BKB dealing with MP. Purgeon slowing him. MP can't jump over to his Remnant in time. March now trying to run down Black as well. They've got a Fisher coming up in a second. March, can he get this kill just in time? Now QO comes back. He's got the stun on Ohio. Now. Meanwhile, Black, oh, okay. He's going to be able to jump to right hand side. He goes to Benny. He's going to fight this one as best he can. March is burned out of mana, but with QO and MP here, there's no way that Black can survive. TP to the side, but he is done for. That's 101 seconds, too. They know it's only their Earthshaker that's down. MP commits the buyback for that, too, I think, right? Yeah. How do you kill this guy with your Phantom Blaster? He is an Octarine core. You've got the Shallow Grave that you have to deal with at the same time. And you've got two cores that are fairly strong. Like, March just doesn't die in these fights. A full minute left. This is the last fight for Fnatic without a Phantom Blaster. They start going on MP. Mushi locked down, trying to blink away, but no. He's going to have to buy back here. Fnatic, they've actually managed to bring MVP a little bit low, but now the Mac and Octarine starts kicking in. I'm seeing back there. Snowball's going for QO, and he needs an instant blink, but the Pulse Nova stops him. DJ will fall on the front lines. March just keeps on chimping away at that tier 3 tower. They've got 30 seconds until the Phantom Lancers back up. Almost no matter what happens, you're going to go for this push because he will want to flat out all in for it. Because there's still 15 seconds. It kicks down so slowly when you're waiting for it here in this type of position, and they're just immediately headed to top. But Diabolic Edict is almost off the cooldown thanks to that Octarine core. They're going to all commit for this because they know with Mega Creeps, there's actually no way that Fnatic can hold it. That's going to go down at the same time. First down, then he goes down to Mushi. They've actually locked down Heat with the Orchid as well. They need to be able to stop that shot Ray while Black is right in the middle of both March, QO, and MP. Surrounded by three. They're trying to go for that melee max. They will be able to get it eventually. Black now needs to be able to doppelganger out because still MP and March are alive. Mushi well, locked down. He's going to go down as well. The March finally gets it. And now with the Queen of Pain down for 80 seconds and Mega Creeps. I don't see how Fnatic are going to be able to battle this one out. They're going to, they're going to try. Black comes forward, going for MP, immediately making sure he can't jump away. Shall Grave will get him some more damage. In fact, if anything, Black may be in some trouble. Softgangers to the side. Renton over Black. No, he couldn't win the man fight. MP stays alive. Now the heals come out. QO joins his team with the buyback, and Fnatic will finally call it game one. Goes to MVP Phoenix. And what a rough game this was for Fnatic, too, because I feel like if Black just had a little bit of space from his team or a little bit more fun on the Queen of Pain, they definitely could have won that, but uh, this is just... I'm not even blaming Mushi, because Queen of Pain versus Lashrak and Earthshaker is impossible, but it's more just indicative of the draft decision.